and 13. <coughs> okay then. There it comes. So we're on uh, four and a half seconds here of M30. I think we just see it, can't we? Yep. Uh, you we have to push things a little bit. Yes. Yeah, here it goes. Fantastic M13. Okay then. M13. And there's a lot of frame rotation in here. Oh, there is. This is Alta's thing. So uh, they will rotate. And it's pretty much overhead, isn't it? And it's pretty much overhead. So we. So let's let's worst, see. I'm not sure. Scenario. Let's see if the stack is going to work. Go ahead. We stack that. Uh, there it comes. Oh, yes. Stacking. That's not bad, is it? No. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Very nice. And it's nice and warm That's to do some imaging. Warm. <laughs> That's not in England. <laughs> Not the best conditions, though. There's a bit of high clouds, but still, it's better than in England. That's good. I was like M13. Uh, I can find it between binoculars. Fantastic stuff. There you go. So, we're on five seconds. We've got full resolution, one by one binning. Yes, yes, yes. It's very nice. And you can see that it, it, the stacking is, is working as it should. Rotating. Excellent. It is, isn't it? So yeah, it's it's going over it's in the right direction, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming. You have to be a bit patient. Now this is the one of the ones I can never find. Uh, if I've got a Dobsonian, well, I'll, I'll find it, but it's it ends up as much luck as yes. judgment. Yes. You got to find these two two stars of what's it? Is it the dolphin? Dolphin, yes, dolphin. Dolphin constellation. You have to be a little patient with this stuff because I can't. Uh I ah, there it is. There it is. is. There is there it? Yes. I think I saw it. Yeah, it is. It is excellent. Hang on, hang on. I've got to be here. So we I said, let's just take this off so we're not doing this. Hang on. Wait. We're not. We lost it. We lost it. Now we've got. Now if you go up a bit. Up. 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 That's it's still there, but it's it's going uh, it's going slightly. This up. is Hold just on. the this is the backlash, isn't it? Yes, it's the altitude axis playing. Okay, I think we're there, aren't we? Yeah, you go almost there. Okay. Yeah, so that's set, fine. We right. set three and a half seconds, and we do this bidding two by two. Yep. We should see something good. So we're not stacking. Let's stack that. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you can see it. Just as the yeah. each, each frame comes in, all the noise drops out yes. the background. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Let's just very get nice. the. We'll have to get some other way of setting these histograms, putting the black and white levels. Yes. Yeah, but you can see the edges, uh, uh, the top and bottom sides of the football. <laughs> Well, yeah, we, do you call it football? Yeah, well, some some people like to call it a football nebula because of the uh, football shape. You can, uh, I you haven't can heard find. the football nebula. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, football. It's probably right. you have darker skies than we do, so it's always a dumbbell for us. Yeah, absolutely. It's always a dumbbell visually, for sure. But you can see, you can see the faint that little thing over there, uh, especially on the top side of it. You can see that the, the faint nebula. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yes, I think even what you can, you can see it. This is one of the first things we took with the modified webcams when I was doing that. Oh, yeah. And you could just see that little bright little piece of emission hydrogen alpha. Yes. And it was a real struggle to see very much else. Absolutely. That's right, but it's it's quite good. And I think so. I'm just going to take the stacking off for a moment. And so this is what this is what the individual frames look like. Yes. Yes. And, but what we haven't got here is we haven't got much frame rotation, which is good. Yeah, it's declination dependent. But yes, 
I don't know. It's, well, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit lower. There it comes. This is what happens. The power of stacking. Power of stacking. Yes, no, that... Actually, what I could just do is that... We, hey, we've got a satellite. Yes. <laughs> that, there it goes. Hey. <laughs> I, I can't see it. It's, it's... Can you see it? No. No, no, no. This is too faint. Okay. It's just an image. It's And it's fading away as its stacking goes on. It's just fading away. That's cool. <laughs> nice. There's a lot, a lot of of stars, a lot of faint stars over here as well. It's good. This might be very good as well for astrometry and so on. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. That's another one. Yeah, excellent. Five seconds. So just yeah, that's so I'm just playing around with the <laughs> playing around the exposure time at the moment to see what we get. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. that's that. Uh, that's good. Right then, so we're, this is not going to be easy to find, I don't no, think. No, 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 this is... Oh, oh, wait, is that, hold on, it's coming. It's coming. Just, I just think it's coming. I'm not that sure that's it. Center uh, the thing, it is, I think. Oh, oh it's uh, gone the wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, will we ever see it ever again? I think so. Hey, uh, uh, sorry, wrong button. Yeah, there, there, there. Yeah, it's got yeah. Okay. So, well, I'm giving you a hand here. So we've got five seconds. Let's try and see something. Five, three and a half. Okay, let's move the thing. You have to be a little patient. This stuff sticks a bit. Okay, that should be enough. Oh, you're there. No, yes. no. Oh, here it is. Can you not move it? Okay. Let's see if backlash is fine. Okay. Uh, right. oh. oh, he's... Hold on. I think you've just bumped against the uh, tripod there, haven't you? Sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, a little bit of patience. Okay. I okay. think it's fine now. Okay, then. Let's see. We've got both of the cores anyway. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can start having a hint, even with... Just a single exposure. We have a hint on the, but it's not spiral. a bright object. No, 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 no. This is, it's not easy. This is difficult stuff. But you can see, you can see easily the spiral. You can, though, yeah. Absolutely, it's all, yeah, it's totally there. There you go. There. And you've got the the little whatever it is. Yeah, and you see something, two. and then you can see the link between the two. Is it a link between the two? I'm never sure if that's just a spiral. Yeah, and well, it's not a link. Small ones behind, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, well, they are not exactly connected. <laughs> but it's just a matter of perspective. But I think one of this, it has at times, and because they are interacting, so the that one, the small one, is behind, and it's gone through the through the outer work arms of the M51. Yeah, you know more of this stuff than I do. Sorry. I did because I've I've read the Arc Galax, this William Bell Arc Galaxy book, so I now know that this is also called Arp eighty five. Arp eighty five, uh, the thing you Arp. know. Arp interesting person, Mr. Arp. Mr. Harp. Oh, that's a very nice galaxy. Uh, to be honest, I'm amazed. It's 8.4 magnitude or something. Is it? I know something like this. Are you now reading that off the next hand controller? <laughs> Yeah, well, sorry. And we're going to okay. hit that button there. Okay, M s next one, M17, the famous one. Uh, this is a bit low for us, so... It is, it is. At the right time of year, it looks really, really nice. Yes, it's a bit low, but hold on. We'll get it in a moment. I have to be patient with the... Uh... I remember seeing this through, I think it was a pair of 100mm binoculars one time. That was through a dark sky, and that was nice. Yes, just a second. Oh, it is... Oops, hold on. Uh, if we find it, it is one of the things that looks like what it's supposed to be. 
Yeah. Just hold on, it's not there yet. Yeah, ah, are you, are we, it's coming. It? Coming, coming, coming. I think you got so much backlash in the. Oh, there is some. Whatever, yes. whatever the up and downy one is. There is some backlash on this scope, yes. So let's. You got the other way. The thing. There you go. You coming? It's coming, coming, coming. Oh. Yeah, I've always. I recognise it. <laughs> yeah. All That's right. not bad because the sky is not really that clear down there. Either. No, no, no. It's, this is not the, f the, f the most fantastic night out there, to be honest. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> well, it's awesome compared with <laughs> compared with English cloud. Yeah, we've yeah. got better, clear skies. Better this than overcast. <laughs> rising to rising at the moment, but it's right but it is got a bit of mist in there. So a bit of high cloud, is it's it? Clouds, cloud, slight high clouds. Uh, well, it's, it's what it is, but it's good. Uh, it's good. It's warm. It's nice. Right. Let's, let's even stack some of these images. Yeah. Let's, we can. Start so we're only on the backlash half. is uh, reasonable. I think you can start. Yes. Right then. And it is just amazing. After you stack a few, suddenly all the noise in the background just, just drops. Drops on. significantly, and you can. We. That's better. Hey. Right. Okay. Hold on. Hang on. Well, just. If you get it in the right place, do we, um, let's take that off a second. Okay. Hold on. I think. Yeah. It's okay. So. Okay. Now. Okay. So, uh, if we try some longer exposures on this, because I think this is going to be good. Yeah. So we're up to five seconds. About all the mount can cope with. Yes. <laughs> Without some proper balancing, at least. Um, Whoa! I mean, yeah, you can exactly. just say all this other nebulosity just surrounding yes. it. Well. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's nice. And all the dark, dusty lines. See a lot, even on the tops, top sides. Yeah, this is this is just one of those objects where I. It's just so obvious what it is, even if we're not quite the right angle at it. Yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. G giving it that the object is is a bit, it's slow and it's, well, not the best sky conditions to be honest. But no, very no. very nice, very nice. It is, and it's if we get if we get some people who haven't looked through telescopes before. This would just be so much easier to say, like, use some averted vision, and this is what you're going to try and see through the through the eyepiece. Yeah, but not even close. It's uh, you can see. Uh, well, we're talking about the six inch. Just if you were using this yeah, stuff, to yeah, yeah, <laughs> it'd, it'd be cool. It'd be cool to have one of these set up next to a twenty inch Dobson because if you set a twenty inch Dob up at a star party, there's always a queue of people behind it. Absolutely. And then everybody's jumping on it and needing to kind of work at what it is they're trying to see. Yes, yes. This is not a too difficult object but for a 20 inch, no. but uh, for a no, 6 no, inch it's so. going to be hard. Especially yeah. the, the amount of nebulosity that we're looking at over here at the moment. It is. Spectacular. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So the session took place in Lisbon with Ruby controlling the telescope and Steve at the software controls. They were using a Celestron C6 Nexstar with a reducer on an old AS mount and no guide camera. Due to a slight miscalculation, they were actually working at a focal ratio of f8 rather than their intended f6. The images collected on the night were recorded for use by ourselves. But we were so pleased with the performance, we've created this video to convey how much fun the camera is to use. The software was at an early stage, so you might notice the exposure times and binning jumping around a bit due to the use of keyboard shortcuts and that version having a couple of bugs. However, the settings on the screen are the settings used to generate the images. Steve used 2x2 two two binning a lot, just because it seemed to suit the conditions at the time. And you might have noticed a couple of light leaks in M13, which has since been tracked down and fixed. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll be releasing some more uh, as the clouds allow us. So thank you for watching.